So today was the first day of my holidays and I had a few adventures planned across Scotland and heading up to the northern side of Scotland. But before that, I thought I'd head and do some new Corbett's in the Loch Arcraig area. So I headed off nice and early and headed up towards the northwest and towards Loch Arcraig, full of hope for nice weather today. <laughs> I'm on a holiday trip. Holiday trip, a few days off. And my first Corbett's, I'm literally about a mile away. I've driven up from about 5.30 this morning, but I've come to a bit of a bit of an issue, I think I'm going to have to go for a plan B for <laughs> this, the road is flooded, I don't know if it's closed but I'm not going to take the chance of going through there, I don't know how far this water goes on or how deep it is so I'm going to have to go back to the car now <laughs> and see see what I can do, it does look pretty deep and I um, can't see an end to this, <laughs> this flooding so let's go and find another hill to go up <laughs> crikey Look at that. I was hoping to do two corbets there that I hadn't done before. Not gonna happen. <laughs> oh dear. My feet are soaking. I got totally soaked there like that. <laughs> Swallowed up by the mud as well. I was up to my knees in it. Right. Let's think about something else. Ooh, what am I gonna do? So a three point turn in the road and I headed back along the way I'd come. It was a bit soul destroying getting so close to the car parking spot for these two Corbett's but it always always pays off to have a plan B especially in Scotland although the weather forecast was good for today I didn't think I was going to have to deploy this plan B but there was a another Corbett I hadn't done in a glen not too far away down in Glen Loy and I remember doing Ben Van here many moons ago and there was one at the top of the glen which I still had to do so I drove down the windy road to do this Corbett. <laughs> right, oh man, well on to plan B I suppose, that was, uh, I wasn't going to risk taking the car through that <laughs> locking that was on the road, it did look like it was over uh, a couple of feet deep at parts and I don't think I would have been the uh, <laughs> toast of the town with the locals of uh, taking this thing through the, uh, the big puddle and got stuck. So there's another Corbett that I've not done uh, just a bit further south, uh, and I'm currently at the top of the road that goes up Glen Loy, and the Corbett is Mila Fubal, which is just well, just over my shoulder there. So I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna try and get some dry socks on. You can see my feet at the moment; it's all covered in mud from where I was exploring the uh, the depth of the water, really, uh, <laughs> round at Loch Arcraig. So yeah, yeah, the plan is actually you probably see from behind me. Let me just see if I can show you. That's uh, that. Is where I'm staying tonight. So tonight's accommodation is going to be, uh, yeah, living out of the car basically, and then hopefully tomorrow night there'll be something different, and the night after I'll be staying in somewhere completely different again. So anyway, it's about 9:30 now. <clears throat> I've put myself back about an hour <laughs> with my diversions, and uh, I need to get cracked on because at this time of year there's not much daylight. So I'm going to get my stuff ready and see what it's like uh, up the hill. Right, let's go. Oh, well the track which goes up Glen Loy has now petered out and it's uh, it's now into just a single track uh, which is quite nice, it's a bit boggy and this track goes over to uh, Loch Eel, I think Fast Fern and apparently it used to be uh, used to transport charcoal and anyway, it's quite nice, it's a wee bit of breeze here now but I'm going to be heading steeply up behind me up onto the slopes of Mila Football now and hopefully when I get up there I'll get some views at the moment it's still lovely, it's lovely, these obviously Graham's behind me it's very much a Corbett area this but there's no sun in the glen, you can see down behind me the Corbett at the bottom of the glen is basked, basked in sunshine but at the moment because it's quite a deep glen the sun's not risen up so hopefully when I get up a bit I'll get into the sunshine so yeah enough talking, let's get walking So 
So leaving the lovely path that ran through the glen, it was a steep pool of pathless, heathery, grassy, steep slopes. But the good thing about that was I gained tight pretty quickly and I was soon in the area where the sun was shining down and what a difference that made. As height was gained, I also then finally made that ridge line, and up here it was cold, it hit the snow line, and there was ice underfoot, and the views were just fantastic, they were really opening up now to the other hills. Well that's me on the ridge line now, and it's a great feeling. Every now and again when you come up to the hills, you get a point where you either crest the ridge or crest the summit, and the views that you haven't seen just open up, and that's what I can see at the moment. These ones that you can see behind me are actually the hills that I was going to be going up before I couldn't <laughs> progress any without a boat. That's down towards the bottom of Loch Acre down there. Nice lovely white co coated uh, mountains and I can see the, the mountains that lie to the, the west and the north of the end of Loch Acre as well. Lovely and then over this way I've got Ben Nevis and all these sort of hills. It's a lovely day. It's, uh, it's out the sunshine's coming and going. And I think I'm probably about half an hour to 45 minutes from the top. But it's lovely and into the snow line now as well. So there's a bit of a breeze picking up. It's not warm, but uh, can't complain. So I'm going to get going, get up to the top, maybe get some pictures and get some lunch. Let's go. Ooh. Lovely, the sun's starting to show itself a bit more now, and I can now see Mila Fubal, the, the core that I'm headed for. If I spin round, will we see it? Well, hopefully, see it over my shoulder. It's not that one over there, that big white one. That's lovely, but that's a bit of a drop. <laughs> you can see a drop down here to this sort of rounded, rounded mole of a hill, and that's the that's the summit there. Then I have to retrace my steps to get back, but it's just lovely. It's getting sunnier, sunnier and sunnier, the skies are turning blue, the hills are white. It's just fantastic, it's really nice. It's getting to about one o'clock, so I think, I've, well I know I've got about just over two hours until the sun sets. So I'll, uh, I'll not hang around too long up here, but uh, yeah, it's quite a way back to the car, but it's just lovely. Absolutely fantastic, so yeah, enough talking. <laughs> let's get going, let's go, let's get up to the top of this hill. After dropping down to the Bielich, I was soon slogging my way up the final slopes of Mila Fubal. And Mila Fubal means Hill of the Tent, because it looks like a tent, apparently, from some directions. Anyway, it was nice and snowy now, and I soon found myself taking the final few steps towards the summit cairn. I don't know if you can hear it, but there is there is a bit of a slight breeze up here. But the views are just fantastic. Like a lot of the Corbett's, you get some fantastic views to these bigger mountains. Behind the camera, there's Ben Nevis now, free of cloud, and I can see Carmore Gerarg and the Annex and dropping away to the Grey Corries. And over here, some more Corbett's, and this is in to, towards the Glenfinnan Hills. I can streaks just beyond there. It's quite wild and rugged over that way, it's lovely. It's just absolutely fantastic. It's taken me, oh, I don't know, about th oh, three and a half hours to get here. It does feel quite remote, and it's not a really, because it's a core, but there's not that many paths. There are sort of tracks that come and go, but that last pull up there was, <laughs> yeah, it was quite uh, energy sapping. The, there was a wee bit of a crust on the snow, and I was sinking into it, and, ah. Uh, but uh, I think about two hours, yeah, around about two hours, maybe just under till uh, sunset. So I'm, I'm not going to linger here. I'll maybe spend five, ten minutes here, have a wee bite to eat, 
take a few photographs and then head back down Glen Loy to the car. Then the plan from there is to head way up north. As, as you can probably gather, I said Ben Nevis is over there, so I'm not far from Fort William at the moment, just a bit north of there. But I'm heading way up north. The plan is for the next two days, next three days actually, is to head up. Head up and, and see how it goes. But the weather, this is the best <laughs> best day of the week. It's going downhill from here, so we'll see we'll see what we get done for the rest of the week. But this today I'm just gonna take this. <laughs> this is a win. Super. Right, something to eat. Blah. It was a grand day for sitting on the summit, and I sat there for a while, had a bite to eat, and soaked in the views. But I knew I had to get back down to the car, I had a long drive ahead of me to get up to Ascent, so I shouldered the backpack and eventually got going and headed off the hill and back into the glen to get back to the car for that drive north. A few hours later, after driving up the Great Glen, I found myself arriving at Inverness and I needed to stop here to stock up on supplies and get some food and water for the following day's adventures. Oh, right, that's me. Uh, I'm at uh, Inverness now. I've been driving for about an hour and a half, maybe. Oh, two hours the last time I saw you, I think it was on the top of the mountain. So I'm going to get some supply, get in some supplies, and then I'm going to head for the north and find somewhere to park up and get the car ready for uh, <laughs> for an evening evening's entertainment. <laughs> anyway, right, I think we can get some food. Right, let's go. After the wee break at Inverness, it was time to head north again. And after a bit of deer dodging on the roads, I soon found a lay-by to park up and spend the night in the car. Well, that's me arrived. Uh, I'm way up north. I'm in Ascent now. It's been a long day. I must admit, I was feeling a bit puddled <laughs> after that walk. I think uh, a lot of pathless terrain does take out on you. Anyway, I'm going to uh, set the car up now. See behind me, look, all that jazz in the back. Uh, set the car up and sit and chill here for a while and hopefully get a good night's sleep before you know, maybe doing something tomorrow. The forecast is looking blooming awful, I mean, really bad. So. It's not going to be a big mountain day tomorrow, but still, I've got something in mind which I think is going to be a good adventure. So, aye, I'm going to get, go, <laughs> go get my bed, get my bed made, and maybe have a wee bite to eat, listen to the radio, before hitting the hay. Oh, I'm not fancying going outside here, it looks a bit wild and windy, but ooh, anyway, right, time to get sorted. Let's be in my bed. It's quite comfy. I could uh, do with a little bit more legroom. It's not started raining yet, but that's coming. I know it's coming. The forecast was uh, wasn't looking too good overnight and for tomorrow, but uh, I'm a bit worried because the adventure I've got planned for tomorrow does involve crossing. It looked like quite a substantial riverbed <laughs> the last time I was in it. So if it's in spate, it may be a short adventure. There's no plan B tomorrow. In fact, I'm trying to think the last time I was up here. I think it's when I, I would come up myself and Jerry to kayak down to Sulvan and we ended up going up Conneval and Ben, Ben Ascent Moor, or Ben Moor Ascent. And uh, yeah, I tell you what, I could have done with the kayak this morning. Crikey, that, that road wasn't half flooded. But uh, anyway, I, that was a good day up up the Corbett that went up and the, there was nice snow on the tops. But once again, I think that'll be gone. This, this is a warm front coming in and I think it'll uh, melt all the snow tops before 
think maybe maybe a bit more snow on Wednesday, we'll see. I might have an adventure on Thursday. Anyway, time to uh, yeah, time to end this video here, so hopefully you can tune in again next time and see tomorrow's adventure and uh, see if it goes to plan or not.